Hey guys, today's video is on things that I've stopped buying and I wanted to share this with you just because I think it's always interesting to see these videos and see what kinds of things people have stopped purchasing. And there's definitely been a long journey involved. I started decluttering it back in 2012 and just looking for a balance, not, not you know, becoming a minimalist, but just looking for balance and making sure that the things I did own, uh, they were just being used and being loved, basically. So, all right, I wanted to share the things that I have stopped buying. So one of the first items I stopped purchasing was petroleum-based candles with synthetic or chemical fragrances. And the reason for that is just because I just decided that maybe I didn't want to be, you know, burning and breathing that in all the time. And that's why I kind of just slowly moved from that to natural essential oils and aromatherapy. So you guys see um, that I'm doing more aromatherapy videos because I kind of wanted to start sharing more of that with you guys. So hopefully you enjoy those videos. Um, I just really enjoy the natural fragrances and it feels really fresh and uplifting. Something else that I've stopped purchasing are sort of ornamental items that sort of just sit on your tabletops or your surfaces and maybe don't really have an actual purpose. Maybe they just sit there to I don't know, look cute or something. So I sort of put that all into the ornamental category and I just liked clean surfaces better. And so I wanted to start cleaning off. And I was like a big, like cluttery kind of person. Like I just loved like all these little things and having stuff around. And now I'm very much into, you know, cleaner surfaces. Um, it, well, if you look back here, actually I do have my rocks. So I guess I have just changed what I like. I do like to have my natural stones and crystals out. Yeah, I guess you got me there. I, d I do still like to have things sitting on my surfaces, but um, they're just different now. Hopefully you guys will be able to hear me through the construction going on. Um, our neighbors like on both sides has been construction like crazy construction going on for the past several months. Trendy clothing or makeup is another area that I've stopped purchasing in and as far as clothing goes we do have several stores around here that offer you know really inexpensive you know cheap kind of trendy clothing but it's just not very good quality and that's something that I have learned my lesson on and that is if I would have just saved my money and waited and purchased you know a good quality item instead of purchasing several poor quality items that ended up falling apart after only a few washes I would have been better off so that's what I try to do now I look for the quality invest in that and then I can have that piece for several years instead of a bunch of cheap pieces of clothing that end up not working out at all and also makeup kind of goes through trends too so sometimes there'll be certain products or certain colors that you know get tons and tons of hype especially on YouTube and then it turns out to not even be a color that you actually are even really into so I used to get caught up in that like the YouTube made me do it thing um, like uh, you know a few years ago and I was really into trying all the new things that I would see people trying in hauls and I just kind of got over that and I just I just don't care anymore like I see stuff that gets a lot of hype and I just pass on it like I don't even need to like go there at all I kind of stick to the colors that I know that I wear and that I enjoy and that I wear often so I know that the item is gonna get a lot of use and the same goes for makeup too I'd rather have one good quality piece of makeup than ten poor quality pieces of makeup. Okay, so along the same lines of shopping for clothing, something that I stopped doing was purchasing items that didn't fit my current lifestyle or environment. So sometimes I'd find myself wanting to purchase sweaters and it's hot out here. <laughs> Let me just say um, I'm literally like sweating through my tank top right now. Sorry for the details. But um, yeah, it's it's not a sweater kind of environment even though I like sweaters and I think they're really cute and I want to wear them so badly. It's just something that I rarely get to do out here and I would collect sweaters and jackets like crazy for some reason. I, I don't know why. It was just something that I liked and so I broke that habit and made sure that I stopped buying that stuff because it just wouldn't get used. So now instead if I'm going to shop for a piece of clothing I will make sure that it's something that I feel comfortable with wearing tomorrow. So it's very current, it's current to my style, it's current to my environment and the climate and everything is good then, then the piece actually gets worn um, instead of sitting in my closet and 
you know, like having like 10 sweaters sitting in my closet doesn't do me any good when I'm sitting here sweating in a tank top, right? Another thing that I've stopped purchasing are shoes that have any possibility of being the slightest bit uncomfortable or impractical for my lifestyle. And out here, you know, in Maui, it's, it's very country. I'm very low key. My lifestyle um, is not at all fancy. I wear, you know, just flats a lot, whether it's like, you know, a good quality pair of flip flops, uh, you know, like out here we do wear lots of flip flops. I won't buy like the cheap, thin, like flat kind. I like to have ones that are very substantial, like good quality, you know, arch support and all of that. But I do wear like those kind of shoes mostly. So I try not to buy, like I don't really stray out of that too often because I know that they don't get very, they don't get worn very much. They end up sitting and just looking pretty on my shelf or something, but they don't end up being actually worn when I try to buy fancier types of shoes. Um, so I've kind of just learned my lesson for that. Uh, you know, appreciate them on the store shelf and don't take them home with me because I know that I won't actually put them to use. So basically my rule before purchasing any shoes is it has to be practical for my lifestyle and it has to be super, super comfortable. The next item that I've stopped purchasing are synthetic fragrances or perfumes. Um, so those are something that I used to be really into. I used to, you know, purchase at Sephora or at the Macy's perfume counter and I just kind of got away from that. I just sort of stopped purchasing and I used up some of the fragrances that I had for a long time and just never went out and repurchased them again and I just found that I really leaned more towards um, either making my own fragrances with essential oils and carrier oils and I found that I really liked that a lot being able to customize my own fragrances and um, the fact that they were all completely natural too and I knew exactly what was going on to my skin and that's not to say I think there's anything wrong with going out and purchasing a perfume from Sephora or from the beauty counters it's just a direction that I sort of um, you know an area that I kind of got away from and it sort of faded away like the excitement of it I guess or the desire and I just sort of got into you know as I was getting into more of the natural perfumes and natural oils and stuff that sort of was just a natural direction for me to go um, so that's all and I think the next thing that uh yeah I think the next thing we're to talk about is makeup hoarding makeup um again nothing wrong with it especially if it's your job a lot of people on youtube you know have a huge makeup collections because it is part of what they do and that's how they make their money you know they do it full time they either are a makeup artist or they do beauty reviews or whatever it is um but just for me it was an area that i wanted to stop like immediately as soon as i started realizing like the direction i was going with it and how i'm not a makeup artist and i was just always like I getting wrapped up in what everyone else was doing and buying and purchasing and all the new collections that would come out all the time every month. It was just something that I got caught up in and that's why I ended up with 10 drawers of makeup that I did not need. Not only that, the problem that I had with that and why I stopped purchasing that amount of makeup was that it wasn't getting used enough. I had a ton of products that I wasn't, like I physically was not capable of using up before they expired is the fact. Um, so that's definitely something that I stopped purchasing a long time ago and it was still a slow process. Um, just sort of, you know, breaking a habit that I had for I think a couple of years because before I was on YouTube, I had like one tiny little makeup bag and that was it. And I had no desire to go out and be purchasing all kinds of cosmetics all the time. It wasn't until YouTube really took off in those early years that um, I got all wrapped up in it and it just got crazy. and. Yeah, it's just such a, it was such a weird time. Anyway, um, so yeah, I mean, I miss, I miss the, the old days on YouTube actually, but I don't, uh, I don't miss like the huge makeup collection that I used to have and I will never be going back to that again. I have one little box of makeup. Currently it's a box, but it translates to being one drawer of makeup, but I just don't have vanity right now because we're going to be moving. Anyway, totally getting off track here, but just sort of, I guess, filling you guys in. But yeah, um, one little box of makeup is all I need. I'm very, very happy with all that. And that is plenty to do all kinds of different looks. So purchasing excessive makeup is definitely something that I have stopped doing. And I also don't purchase backups. I used to purchase backups all the time. I don't know why, but it was just a habit that I was in years ago and I definitely don't do that anymore. 
um, as far as makeup goes. Now, I do have a pair of shoes that I did buy a backup pair in because I love them so much, but that's a different story entirely. Um, also, skincare, whether it's body care or, you know, facial skincare, I try not to uh, have too much at one time. If I'm going to try something new, I will wait until I finish the product that I currently have, and then I will go out and purchase the next one. So that's something that I've stopped doing also is um, the hoarding of skincare and body care products. Oh, the next one is subscription boxes. That's something that I do not purchase anymore. I've tried a few of them over the years, and I think the one that I liked most was Vegan Cuts because that was when I was getting into, you know, that was when I was going plant-based, and I was changing over my makeup to be cruelty-free and vegan makeup. Um, so that was something that I found that was helpful to be able to, you know, because they would spotlight certain brands um, that would be 100% cruelty-free and vegan. So that made it really helpful in that sense, but at the same time, I still personally feel like uh, subscription boxes just aren't worth it uh, to me in my opinion but you know everyone's different so some people I know are really into them and some people are like no I'd rather just go out and find my own products so yeah I'd rather just save my money and go out and you know do my own research find the product on my own and not be purchasing a subscription beauty box. Okay, the last item I have on my list, I feel like there's more that I'm missing here, but if I think of if I think of other ones, I can always do a separate video of the things that I've stopped buying. But for the last one for this video, um, seasonal decor is something I've definitely stopped purchasing. I, I did used to really enjoy like the, I don't know, like sparkly fake flowers and stuff like that. Ooh, that's one, that's one. I used to buy fake flowers, which nothing against Anyone who has fake flowers, I feel like I'm going to offend like a ton of YouTubers right now. Oh my goodness. Um, so nothing against fake flowers. I just ended up switching to uh, plants because it just became my hobby. So it's just what I naturally gravitated towards and I gravitated away towards purchasing, you know, fake plants or fake flowers to have in backgrounds of videos. So now I've got like my trusty cactus back there and my uh, Mauna Loa uh, peace lily. So just a direction. Ow, holy crap, I just hit my ring on the phone. Jeez, okay. <laughs> All right guys, I better let you go now. Um, my battery is dying. My camera is overheating right now, probably about to have a heat stroke. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And I would love to hear if you guys have anything that you've stopped purchasing as your, you know, part of your journey of downsizing or simplifying. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. I love you guys. Have an awesome day. Bye.